good morning dear children so in part in previous part video we learned the definitions of non intersecting line second tangent and related to that we solved one first exercise now in this video we are going to learn number of tangents from a point on a circle so we learned what is tangent 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 is that which touches or intersects a circle at only one point so such a line is called tangent to that circle okay so according to euclidean geometry this flat surface is there no this flat surface is called plane okay so when circle enters into the plane this plane gets divided into three parts this we learned in our previous standard now here the region which is outside the circle this region is called exterior region the region which is inside the circle that region is called interior region and the region which is on the circle this region is called circular region or on the circle so in different regions with respect to this circle take different points for example now i will take the point p here is the point p with respect to circle obviously the point p is inside the circle it is inside the circle okay is yes, through this point how many tangents can be drawn to this circle yes listen here dear children we how to draw tangents to this circle those tangents are from this point or how many tangents can be drawn through this point now the point is inside the circle yes. through this point how many tangents can be drawn to this circle that point is inside the circle okay guess how many tangents can be drawn through this point to this circle 1 2 3 infinite or no okay try so observe now see through this point draw a line in both the directions so this is not a tangent to the circle now i draw a line extend to this point extend in both the sides this is also not a tangent so through this point draw a line in both the direction extend it that is also not tangent now take one more line extend it in both the directions this is also not tangent so what is your conclusion if a point lies inside a circle how many tangents can be drawn through that point to this circle no tangent can be drawn if a point lies inside the circle clear no tangent can be drawn through a point lying inside the circle clear so 
See here, dear children. There is no tangent to a circle passing through a point. That point lying inside the circle. Clear? If your point lies inside the circle, through this point there are no tangents passing through this point because that point is inside the circle. Clear? Then what? These are all. These are all seconds. Clear? What? Next. See the second case. Now consider the circle and the circle with center O. Now in this case, take a point P. Observe the point P. Where is the point P? It is clear that the point P is on the circle. Yes or no? Okay. Just think through this point to this circle, how many tangents can be drawn? Just count how many tangents can be drawn through this point to this circle? One or two or three or four. How many? Okay, try. Through this point, we can draw only one tangent. Clear? Now, if a point lying outside the, on the circle, that is the point P on the circle, through this point, we can draw only one tangent to this circle. Clear? Seriously, there is one and only one tangent. There is one and only one tangent to a circle passing through a point that point lying on the circle. Yes, if a point is on the circle, through that we draw only one tangent to that circle. Clear? Okay. Then, see the next case. Take another different position of a point. Now, circle with center O. In this case, take a point P. Where is the point P? Think about it. Where is the point P with respect to circle? Very good. With respect to circle, the point P is outside the circle or it is external point. Exterior part of the circle, this point lies. Okay? As through this point, through this external point, how many tangents can be drawn to this circle. Yes, yes, dear children. Very curious these concepts. How many tangents can be drawn through this point? Now the point is outside the circle. Yes. One or two or infinite. Think. Okay. Observe. You can draw exactly two tangents to this circle. How many? Only two tangents can be drawn to a circle through a point lying outside the circle. What about remaining? These are all of not tangents. And what these are? These are seconds. So how many tangents are there? Only two tangents are there. Where they are, where they originated? They originated from exterior point. If the point is outside the circle or exterior part of the circle, 
to that point we draw only how many tangents two tangents to the circle clear so there are exactly two tangents to a circle through a point in this case that point lying outside the circle okay good now observe if a point p is inside the circle how many tangents can be drawn to this circle no tangent can be drawn if a point is on this circle how many tangents can be drawn to this point to this circle only one tangent only one tangent can be drawn if a point is outside the circle to this point to that circle we draw exactly two tangents okay those are these are the tangents this is the tangent to this circle say this point is a for a b so this point is a okay a and b are points of contact huh dear children what is the length of this tangent if i say uh, measure the length of this tangent means from where which point to where we have to take this length of this tangent so this is an external point now we consider this point where it intersect the circle at b now this is point of contact this length is there of this length this length is called length of tangent here one line segment is formed now so length of this line segment from external point of a tangent to the point of contact this length is called what this length length of tangent okay dear children don't take the length from p to here this is not the length of tangent length of the tangent is from external point to point of contact from external point to point of contact this is not length of tangent clear so now so from an external point we draw how many tangents two tangents we can draw these two tangents have uh, a very special property so when you are to draw a circle take an external point through that draw two tangents such that they exactly intersect the circles at only one point this tangent intersects at only one point this tangent intersects at only one point in this manner do this activity then take a scale measure the length of both the tangents they are equal in length if it shows 7 cm length of this tangent is also 7 cm clear so what is our conclusion from this activity we conclude that tangents drawn from an external point to this circle are equal in their lengths so dear children uh, this leads us theorem number 2 okay in this topic there are two theorems we studied first theorem tangent is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact okay this tangent is perpendicular to the radius through the point of contact this is theorem number 1 now we are going to discuss we are going to study another theorem that is theorem number 2 tangents drawn from an external point to circle are equal in length this is theorem number 2 so for example point of view dear children so there are three mark one question will be there in your annual examination so that three mark question is related to 
these two theorems theorem number 1 and theorem number 2 so for your exam point of view prepare these two theorems you will easily get three marks on this topic by preparing theorem number 1 and theorem number 2 any one will appear in your question paper clear so these theorems are very very important so dear children now we are going to start the proof of theorem number 2 okay dear children pause the video uh, write these notes clear okay okay dear children now we are going to prove the length of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal in their lengths this is theorem number 2 so first what we are given we draw that diagram so we are given a circle yes with center o and p be an external point draw two tangents from an external point one tangent at a point of contact draw another tangent b okay so this is b this is what given we prove what we are given there is a circle with center o p is an external point from an external point there are two tangents we prove these tangents are equal in length that is in symbolically ap is equal to b this we are going to prove in this video okay this leads us to theorem number 2 so dear children what is given observe given we are given a circle a circle with center o okay p is a point external point p is an external point okay pa and pb are tangents to circle pa and pb are these are tangents tangents to circle at a and b this is what given so this carries half marks if you write given in even an annual examination this step carries half marks so everything is important understood next what we are going to prove what we prove as tell me the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal these tangents are there no from an external point these are equal this we are going to prove that is ap equals b this we are going to prove dear students to prove this result we need some construction in our diagram that is construction join oa join oa ob and op okay so what we did there join oa ob and op this is our construction okay then proof what is next proof so observe here we know that from theorem number 1 tangent is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact so by theorem number 1 what is the angle here 90 degree tangent is perpendicular to the radius to the point of contact 
so that's why by the number of this angle is also 90 degree so dear children how many triangles are there two triangles are there in this triangle this angle 90 degree in this triangle this angle is 90 degree so then which type of triangles these two at first right angle triangles both are right angled triangles any one angle is 90 degree means it is right angle triangle here also one angle is 90 so this is also right angle triangle so after doing this construction what we have to do we have to two right angled triangles okay we consider these two triangles observe compare these two triangles this triangle and this triangle in triangle OAB OAP and triangle OBP OBP yes identify these two triangles in the figure ok see those two triangles in triangle in this triangle angle A is equal to angle B of this triangle each is equal to 90 degree because why this is because of tangent is perpendicular to the radius through the point of point this thing is happened here that is why here it is 90 this is also 90 we are comparing these two triangles in this triangle this is 90 in this triangle this is 90 so this angle is equal to this angle each 90 degree so means both are right angle triangle so what is the hypotenuse of this right triangle yes what is the hypotenuse the angle opposite to the side opposite to right angle is hypotenuse so hypotenuse of this right triangle is op what is the hypotenuse of this right triangle that is also op so hypotenuse of both the right triangles are equal because then op is common side so right there hypotenuse op of this right triangle is equal to hypotenuse op of this right triangle because it is common side clear next the side OA of this right triangle is equal to the side OB of this triangle why till both are radii of the same circle radii of the same circle are equal so the side OA of this right triangle is equal to the side OB of this right triangle reason radii of same circle dear children now about these two right triangles both are right triangles hypotenuse are equal and a side are also equal I would like to say these two triangles are congruent triangle OAP is congruent triangle OBP because why these two triangles are congruent on which postulate on which rule why we say these two triangles are congruent these two triangles obeys RHS postulate RHS postulate congruency postulate what it states two right triangles having same hypotenuse and sides are equal then by this postulate those two triangles are congruent there are two right angle triangles their hypotenuse are equal their sides are equal these are two right angle triangles hypotenuse are equal one side of this triangle is equal to one side of this triangle so these two triangles obeys the RHS condition that is why these two triangles are I said here congruent RHS rule this is because of RHS rule and triangles are congruent 
corresponding parts of congruent uh, congruent triangles are equal means corresponding parts means corresponding sides corresponding angles are all equal because congruent means same shape same size so these are congruent triangles means flip flip this triangle over this triangle they exactly coincide this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle because they are uh, corresponding angles and this side is equal to this side this side is equal to this side and AP is equal to what? PP, BP angles are congruent corresponding sides are equal so what is the corresponding side of AP in this triangle? BP they are also equal hence proved so AP is equal to BP because of CP, CD so these two are congruent, flip this triangle over here then they exactly coincide because they are congruent so A, on AP this BP coincides so means these two are equal equal in the sense means they are the tangents from the external point and they are equal hence the theorem is proved clear? so this is about proof of theorem number 2 ok dear children uh, so how we proved which postulate we used to prove these two triangles are congruent RHS postulate clear both are right triangles both are both triangles hypotenuse are equal and their own sides are equal these two triangles follow this rule that is why these two triangles are congruent so AP is equal to BP corresponding parts ok hence proved so keep in your mind that children these two triangles are congruent means this angle is equal to this angle this angle is equal to this angle these are corresponding angles ok if I write here 100 degree so what is the measure of this angle if I write this angle is 100 this total angle is 100 then what is the measure of this angle 50 degree measure of this angle is also 50 degree ok if I write this angle as 80 degree but these two angles are equal because these two are corresponding angles just to include these two are congruent so then this total angle is 80 degree then what is the measure of this angle this angle is 40 degree this angle is also 40 degree so this concept helps us to solve exercise sums understood? so dear children one minute so this is later we will discuss it in exercise so in proof part this is not considered so for your better knowledge I will say this concept ok whatever it may be we use this concept in uh, while solving the exercise but for proof of this theorem does not include this concepts from what we do tangents drawn from an external point are equal this is theorem number 2 this we proved, this is given to so prove construction. This is proof. Compare these two triangles right angle, hypotenuse, side. So, when the triangles are covered, corresponding parts are equal. So, AP is equal to BP, corresponding side. Okay, in the next part of this topic, we are going to solve last exercise. Dear children, uh, take a pause the video. Uh, write this there. Clear? Okay. Bye.